Has somebody ever gotten really upset with you, but you had no idea what you did to upset them in the first place? Well, it could be that this person had an expectation that you would have behaved in a certain way, and when and if you did not do so, that violated their expectation, which can cause friction in a close relationship. My name is Hannah, and I will be talking about expectations and in interpersonal relationships today. And uh, expectations in interpersonal relationships can be very clear, but also can be very ambiguous and hard to recognize if the other person does not make it clear, vocalize what exactly they do need from their partner. So today I will be uh, discussing the theory that explores this, and that is expectancy violations theory, as well as I'll be letting you know uh, how expectation violations can be both positive and negative, and also the different types of expectations that we have in, in uh, typical close relationships. So the research that I did, um, I went through SBCC library databases and under the communication um, database I found research from researchers Courtney Wright and Michael Roloff and this article is titled You Should Just Know Why I'm Upset, Expectancy Violations Theory and the Influence of Mind Reading Expectations on Responses to Relational Problems. Uh, so the topic of expectations in interpersonal communication and relationships expands on the topic of relational uh, de-escalation because expectations um, could be um, an effect that causes the end of a, a relationship. Um, it is a very strong a uh, very strong force that, you know, without expressing what you need from your partner, there's no way that you can be happy and that, you know, you can be satisfied with that. So um, definitely it's a, it's a big part of relational de-escalation. Um, so you can find more on this in, in Chapter 8 of the textbook. Um, and basically a, a expectancy violation theory is essentially suggesting that both people um, usually develop some type of verbal or nonverbal expectation of the communication between each other. Um, so when these expectations are violated negatively or sometimes positively, um, that attention is brought onto the person who the the other is expecting of. Um, so and that can be, like I said, both positive and negative. Somebody exceeds your expectations. Um, somebody does something randomly nice for you that you didn't have an expectation for. Uh, it's a positive interaction. Or if somebody to completely disregards your request or um, your expectation, then that can be a negative interaction. So basically, um, the thesis of this research is saying that mind reading expectations, meaning not verbalizing the expectation one has for another, um, assuming that they'll understand it, people who do that type of communication, which is the absence of communication, um, tend to have less satisfying relationships. So however negative that thesis is, they do also point out that it can be positive, that you know there are also good things that come with having expectations. Um, so the, basically the research points out that individuals and relationships can be hurt by having this mind reading expectations instead of vocalizing. And the, re the, the research also um, showed a very interesting point that correlates media to how people um, expect things in a relationship because there's very um, like in movies and TV shows soap operas it's very romanticized and things are supposed to happening happen without saying so um, so application I pointed this towards my own relationship um, with my boyfriend we've been together for six months and uh, the common issue we have with our communication would be that I don't always express uh, my expectations that I have for him or the situation I end up getting upset and according to him he doesn't understand what he did wrong and you know according to me I still feel violated in, t in terms of the theory so um, on pages 248 and 249 of the textbook it really goes over all the different types of expectations um, and reading this is when I fully um, I fully realized that having unverbalized expectations for my other half was our problem. Um, he was not doing the wrong things because he didn't know what the right things were. Um, so that just reading that made me reflect on myself and really um, put it into perspective for me. So I believe because of this realization I would definitely make a strong effort to vocalize what my needs are and my wants are, encourage him to do the same um, within our relationship and our interactions.